Stick them up. It's Western Night at Dave's. There's so much information, I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with 1959. What a year for trains. Toys were changing. Barbie dolls came out in 1959. But so did cool TV shows like Bonanza. Gunsmoke had already been on a few years. The Tales of Wells Fargo. And lots of Western movies. And these toy train companies, the big three, Marks, Flyer, and Lionel, wanted in on the action. Look at these great 1800s 440 American steam locomotives. Let's begin with Marks. The William Crooks is engine number one. You can see it on the sand dome. There's a lot of detail. The filigree under the headlight, cow catcher, it's a great looking locomotive. Now I've got this one pulling a freight set. And the freight set consisted of a number 56 car with a wood stained load and a number 45 caboose. It's a deluxe caboose with the center cupola. And notice the wood siding simulated. One of the interesting things about the flat car is many times you get these and the center has a big melt mark. And I believe that is because they used an oil-based stain on the logs and it wasn't dry. So that one for sure has it. But this one doesn't. So the freight set's pretty cool. But take a look at the passenger set. The passenger set would have had the same locomotive. And I believe these are the most deluxe of the William Crooks because they're electric, not mechanical. They have smoke. They have the front truck. They smoke really well. So I've got another William Crooks set up here with the typical passenger cars. There was a number one, better move this, and a number three. There wasn't a number two. Now I believe this set was made this way because the uh, Milwaukee Road at the Century of Progress, the World's Fair, 1933-34 in Chicago, had restored this and had it set up the same exact way. I have lots of extra cars and I probably have more than what it will pull. It seems to be pretty happy at five or six cars and I've got seven and that's one too many. Great set though. Okay, let's look at American Flyer. American Flyer had the Frontiersman and a lot of times I refer to it as the Franklin and you can see why. Franklin also had smoke Tender was marked F, Y, and P, as are the cars. And the F, Y, and P is not really a railroad. It stands for 50 years of progress. So in 1959, American Flyer was approximately 50 years old. Uh, they had started a couple years earlier than that, but they didn't really start putting the American Flyer name on their trains until 1909. You can see the smoke unit protruding out of the big K 
cabbage smokestack. It's got nice detail. Red cow catcher. Red front truck. They run really well. And typically they came with passenger cars. I've got one of the freight cars here with the cannon. The passenger cars. There was a number 30 Overland Express, which is a baggage mail car. And here's a combine, which is number 40. I added some people in the windows, thanks to my friend Kirk. And a number 20 coach. Great looking set. And if I didn't mention, it is two rail S gauge. So it won't run on the three rail track. Okay, next let's talk about Lionel. There are three main versions in the post war era 1862, 1872, and 1882. Now the main difference with these is the 1862 was the first one. It doesn't have magnet traction. This one has a gray stack. Um, doesn't have smoke. Does have a headlight. Tender is marked Western Atlantic. The wood loads are rubbery and I wonder how long that's going to last. The cabs are red. The boiler's gray. Red trim. Really a nice looking locomotive. This particular set has a baggage, yellow baggage, 1866, and an 1865 coach. as well as a horse car with extra horses. The Wells Fargo cattle car with the Cowboys I added. It makes a fun set. All right, let's look at the 1872. This is a little more deluxe. This one has magnet traction. It's got smoke, and it smokes pretty well. Headlight. It's a little bit heavier. I think the tender might be weighted, but I'm not positive. It also came with the 1877 horse flat car. This coach, 1875W, see there's a couple slots in the windows, and it has a whistle. And an 1875 baggage car. Just like the one on the first set that I showed you. Except for it's a different number. Okay. Last, we'll look at the 18... 82. This is known as the Halloween set because no longer is it red, it's orange. Orange and black with a gold trim. And it's a handsome set. There's no smoke. It's just like the 1862 that I showed you first. except for it's orange instead of red. Western Atlantic Tender, 1882T, 1887 uh, flat car. The other ones were 1877. And then this blue coach. 
And the blue coach only came in the Halloween set. It's in 1885. So that's a harder card to find. And then a yellow baggage car, 1866. Just like you saw with the first set. So those are really great. I wish I had time to run them for this video, but I'm out of time and I will plan to do a future video where I'm running some of these trains and I've got boxes for some of them. So I'll just present them as a box set and maybe we can learn a little bit more about them. I think it's no coincidence that number 1862 was the first general locomotive. 1862 was the year of the Andrews raid and the great locomotive chase. Can't be a coincidence. All right, tomorrow night is Western night. We're going to have some of these trains on the track. So stay tuned and I will send out another video soon. Thanks for watching.